you and me, we're gonna get it on. We're gonna procreate. Specifically, the mobile art program procreate. And believe me, it's gonna get sexy. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be using Procreate for the first time ever. While I can try and dive into it and uh, blindly attempt to learn the program, I prefer to do something like this with a guided hand. You see, mobile art programs are entirely unfamiliar to me. I'm too used to my keyboard shortcuts and desktop workspaces and Windows computers. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give it a go and I'm gonna get a little bit of help because this is unfamiliar territory, specifically through the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. I use Skillshare as a tool to learn things specifically that I am unfamiliar with or haven't tried before and it's a really great way to learn new skills. Skillshare has over 25,000 classes in design, business, illustration, animation, and loads more and Skillshare membership gives you unlimited access to all of those classes. So if you have New Year's goals and resolutions, whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. It's also super affordable at only $10 a month and just for a little bit of context, like the reality is if you want to go learn something or go to a class or go to a tutor, it's expensive. I've spent hundreds of dollars on private tuition or on group classes where I've tried to learn things about cinematography photography or animation, minimally, minimally $50 a session. And Skillshare is just $10 a month. But if you're still unconvinced, then you have to go try it because Skillshare is offering you two months of free premium access to all of their classes. By using the link in the card and in the description, you get two months of free access to Skillshare. There's nothing to lose. And just to show you how easy and fun it is today, I'm gonna to be using Skillshare to learn Procreate. I'm gonna reference the classes that I follow in the description, I'll link to them. Okay, so these are some of the artworks that the, the um, that the, the, the Procreate opens up by default. That's pretty cool. Don't know if I'll be making that by the end of the day, but that's pretty cool. What else is there? Gallery. Oh, oh, ooh. Hey, let's zoom. That's very smexy. Oh, okay. This is cool. Um, you're building up my expectations, which means I'm only going to disappoint myself. <laughs> what else we got? Rainforest. Oh. All right. I have high hopes now. Prepare to have them disappointed. I'm going to hit new. I'm going to make it screen size and uh, and we're going to have a bit of fun with this. So like I said, I'm going to follow some courses. I'm going to start off much more experimental, slowly build up my ambition and hopefully by the end of this video and by the end of today, have something that I made comfortably and can feel proud showing you guys. Wish me luck. I started off with a course by Jeremy Hazel entitled The Quick Start Guide to Procreate. And I gotta say, this was one of the most practical, clear, and information dense tutorial courses I've ever followed, specifically in learning how to navigate a keyboardless very touch-centric interface. After learning the interface layout and basic controls, I took the time to experience drawing with every available brush in the program. Some of the brushes and textures feel really nice to use, and the deep dive customization and unique brush creation tools are really impressive. Now, I'm personally instinctually inclined when trying out new software to dive right into just drawing and figuring out as I go, but I avoided rushing even if I thought I knew some of what the teacher was going to say, and as as a result, I caught a lot of really useful little tricks and quirks that I otherwise might have missed. The program has so many hidden features because it literally has to hide them. There's barely any visual screen real estate on a mobile device anyway, and that combined with the fact that your hand is covering much of it means that if the devices required users to navigate through menus or featured large interfaces, there just wouldn't be a usable experience. So as a result, much of the experience is built around swipes, long presses, multiple hand gesture combinations, and all sorts of other things unfamiliar to me. While they were bizarre at first, and took some time memorizing to be honest, they ended up feeling more natural the longer I applied them. I followed a bunch of exercises in his course that specifically taught some tricks about selection and manipulation, layering, overlays, cutting, masking, and a whole bunch of slightly more intermediate stuff, and then I moved on to trying to create an artwork, and followed another course by Jaram Vogel called Digital Illustration Learn to Use Procreate. This course conveniently jumped into slightly 
slightly more advanced and custom settings right off the bat. And as the course progresses, teaches a few slightly more hidden features and tricks. Now the teacher had a more customized workflow unique to his own freelance work. And as a result, I learned how to tweak the program to my own workflow and created my own batch of custom brushes, tweaked my shortcuts and learned some more important tricks. Following his course and applying the things I'd learned from both so far, I created a, I guess, more rough and uh, gritty sketch, which lent itself to me being a little looser. I didn't even attempt to work with any intense colors or hues just because I wanted to get used to the drawing experience, the layers, the controls and so on. When I was happy with the result of that illustration, I move on to a course by Vashti Harrison called Illustrating and Procreate, Drawing a Shareable Time Lapse. Her style is a stunning children's book aesthetic, which sort of inspired my next illustration. And it was around here that I started more enjoying the process. The shortcuts were becoming more comfortable and the interface slightly less cumbersome, though I have to admit, I still felt slowed down by not having the shortcuts I'm used to accessible on a keyboard on my lap the entire time. The experience definitely felt much more natural by now and especially with a whimsical style. Now it might just be me and my lack of experience but I, I feel like this more simplistic style was more comfortable because of the device and the interface and I, I gotta say I have noticed a lot of the courses and a lot of the examples of Procreate work that I saw in researching and looking up different courses sort of lend themselves to the more children's storybook aesthetic which I saw a lot and I don't know maybe that suggests that the workflow the device and the program lend themselves to this certain style or leans in this direction but I don't know that's just a thought I could be wrong and there are definitely examples of things other than that it's just something I noticed anyway I really enjoyed making the artwork and I wanted to put some of the lessons I learned to the test with another illustration a few more colors and a few more little tricks like some uh, layer blend mode techniques and some textures applied to my illustration now normally I like to follow at least four or five Skillshare courses when learning something new but I stuck to just these three mainly because they had all of the meat and information I needed to absorb from them had a lot of great different style examples that I could follow and be inspired by, but really they were also courses that I just took a lot slower than usual just to really familiarize myself with the program. And by the end of going through all three and then approaching my final illustration, I wanted to see how my workflow and confidence had progressed. So after a full day of tuition and use, where am I at? Well, I started off pretty slow, but I got to say it did become more and more comfortable. And I gotta say overall, I'm happy with the results. I'm not as proficient with it as I am with Photoshop or anything by any stretch, but I did create three artworks. This is probably my favorite of the three. I feel like I create most naturally that sort of children's storybook, really sort of soft and more natural looking aesthetic uh, in Procreate, I guess, because I'm in a bit more of a relaxed workflow. But then this final one was probably where I was most efficient. I don't love the look of the layers and stuff, but I did create this in under an hour where the first two took me a lot longer. And so it does sort of go to show that just if you apply yourself and keep going, you can learn and can speed up your workflow. Now, as for the program itself, my quickie review would be, it has definitely surprised me. I know I'm an Apple naysayer, but this is a really nice piece of software. The brushes in particular do feel absolutely amazing. And my favorite experience is just sketching and then doing line works. I still have a lot to learn when it comes to coloring, I think. Overall, I 
just think this rough aesthetic is something I can really get behind and definitely can see myself just playing with and uh, having a bit more of a relaxed workflow. I personally would see myself using this as more of a sketchbook and concept design sort of medium. However, obviously there are people who can do incredible things. I mean, Look at that, that's impressive. So obviously I have a long way to go, but I feel like in the space of a day, I've done pretty well and I've had a lot of fun trying. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. They have been a friend of this channel for years and I vouch for them so hard because they really are an amazing resource. And I'd encourage you to go over there, check out Skillshare. Once again, you can check it out for two months for free if you're one of the first 500 people to sign up and you can use Skillshare to accomplish your new year's resolutions and your creative goals. So go check it out. Link is in the card and in the description. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit like if you want other people to see this video and if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Droids Jazz for more fun with art and creativity and until next time I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and while you're at it check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.